Yo, welcome back to the React Zone. Today, we're checking out Ben 10, episode 10. Let's jump in. Yo, what are we getting in this episode of Ben 10, man? A museum? <laughs> Look at Ben. <laughs> this impenetrable glass is the recently discovered and only known existing copy of the Archimeda Book of Spells. A book of spells. Oh, that's definitely going to be the uh, the theme of this episode, I'm sure, right? Wouldn't be surprised if this book is going to cause some problems for Ben 10 and crew. Something tells me Would be the villain. The tour. <laughs> yeah, something tells me that, my guy. Uh, who, what? Who, <laughs> what? This is, is this like the, the new member of Kiss or something, dude? Where'd this guy come from? He came from some kind of crystal. So what are we going to have? Aliens versus witchcraft? Damn. Is he going to be able to like transform or what, dude? Ah, the speedster one. That's smart. I mean, the guy is just a human, right? That's smart. Okay, Ben. Good job. Oh, we gotta bring the whole place down, huh? Oh, what? My man has all kinds of spells. Blinded him. I do like his, like, Plague Master staff. Ooh, what's that? A clue as to who this dude is? You ain't keeping it low-key, bro. So when are more and more people going to start, like, uh, spreading these pictures around and the news about aliens are going to, like, pop up? Because uh, this ain't normal. <laughs> this ain't normal, dude. I know these two, Gwen. Aww. So that doesn't count? It does count, Gwen. Threw a trash can at the guy. That doesn't exactly make you a hero. Uh, what situation would you be in if they didn't help out? No. Yeah, I got tons of other stuff. Is that what came off the book? You know this doesn't change the fact that you're just plain lucky. But thanks. Lucky girl, name of the episode. What did she he give her? Did he give her something off of the book? Or off of his uh necklace, that's what it was. My destiny shall be fulfilled. Okay. <laughs> that's not good. You've had eleven crosses to my nine. Sounds like it's time to make it an even dozen. I don't think so. Yo, wait. Youch. Youch. <laughs> Lucky girl, dude. Lucky girl, dude. All of that just like fell in the place, bro. That domino effect. All because, dude, it's making her lucky, bro. This man's just speaking gibberish and it has powers of gravity at his control. <laughs> powers of telekinesis. That speed creature. <laughs> That's far enough. Oh, oh, Grandpa's gonna put in the work. Yeah, who's gonna make us? You, pops. Actually, him and his close personal friend, Diamond Head. Come on. He did it. What? They pulled out a. Yeah, look at Grandpa. He's like, I got you now, you little punk. You're gonna hit me with a pipe? I'm about to suplex you, bro. Bring you to Suplex City. This little girl is a hero, officer. Who? Me? Just lucky, I guess. Hmm. Sound familiar, Gwen? You'd only be a hero. You're only a hero because you got that charm. You're only a hero because you got that watch. It's like every time it glows, everything just goes my way. I love the puns. Like a good night's sleep. Who wants breakfast? Yeah, good night's sleep for you. For nobody else, though. Time to watch a real hero at work. Yeah, me. I'll be right back. Well, this is Gwen's episode, Ben. You better not step on her toes, dude. Oh, that's why she she went and got a mask. 
bruh, and she dressed like a cat. Cat has have nine lives. And she's lucky. It's lucky girl, grandpa. Lucky girl, name of the episode. Okay, okay. Get it right, Gramps. You got two You got two grandchildren that are superheroes now. I dare say that uh it runs in the family, considering you're not just a plumber. Dude. Yeah, it's luck at everybody else's expense. Slide down the chute. There you go. Damn, putting you on ice. <laughs> he knows. He sees it. Oh, boy. Let's see how much luck you have when you're going up against him. This charm is luck. There are also charms for fire, levitation, reincarnation. Those are the charms Mr. Freak at the museum wore when Accelerate kicked his butt. So there's uh, six charms. He only spouted off four of the powers. Fire, Levitation, Reincarnation, Luck. What do the other two do? And he can reincarnate? Reports are coming in that the city's famed Haunted History Mansion has come alive, trapping dozens of visitors <laughs> inside. That's wonderful. Yo, Grandpa's just the driver at this point, dude. <laughs> Back off. I'll handle this. Dude, what if Ben, like, what if... What if Ben was wielding, like, Charm 2 and the Omnitrix? Like, how crazy would that be, bro? He'd be pretty much unstoppable, right? You're afraid of heights? You're not that high up. <laughs> She's in the house, bro. Oh. Levitation? Is this like matter manipulation or something? No, it's levitation. Just like a cat lands on her feet. Let's go, dude. This poor woman's not gonna land on her feet though. Damn, grandpa. Better watch out. You saving women like that. <laughs> she might want to get your number. Oh, I thought they were going to walk over her like she was a bridge. I was like, what? <laughs> that would have been ridiculous. You should have said please. Dude, Lady Luck is so on her side. That's crazy. It just works like that. Oh. <laughs> uh. Wait, what is this guy's name? One. Really? Dude, really? She, dude, she would have never found that if it wasn't for the charm. That's so cool, dude. So she just found like a secret doorway, like a secret entrance in this, like wherever the hell they're, I guess a museum. <laughs> what? Yo, this guy is not having a good day, dude. Ew. Yeah, I would be scared. I'd be like, what the hell? I would not be sitting there either. Dude, it just keeps activating. It's so perfect. Wait, a black and white scene now? <laughs> Dude, I love it though, because it's setting the scene so nicely, right? Mm, not good, dude. Oh, what? And always oh, just gonna destroy the town? Yeah, that guy definitely dead, bro. <laughs> what he avoided that? You dare challenge me? Reincarnation, right? I'm guessing that's what that's supposed to be. Even though it's not re really reincarnation, but he just controlled the gargoyles, bro. Y'all remember that show back in the day, Gargoyles? It was such a cool show, man. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I used to be a necromancer, but then I took a, a rock to the knee, bro. What the? Look at Grandpa. Takes you so far, Grandpa. This is skill, dude. It's oh my goodness. 
knocked him the heck out. Oh, what? Holy shit, Grandpa! My man got strength, bruh, bruh. Dude, you show me any other grandpa that's gonna pick up that rock with a piece of concrete at the end of it and show me him swinging that, bro. This man is not no ordinary plumber. <laughs> Yo, this is so cool. Yo, berserk vibes, dude. Guts. The dragon slayer. Only he's gonna slay some gargoyles, dude. Nice. Oh, no, it's broke now, though. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, Gwen's the only, not only one that can throw rocks, dude. Oh, wow. Is she going to use all of it? Bro, how the fuck? Yo, how the are you going to get hit in the head, fall off a building, and have your, like, magical necklace fall off? Like, you didn't have that thing secured tighter, dude? And wasn't it luck? Didn't he, didn't he have lu his luck charm back? So he definitely got unlucky there, didn't he? Oh, I'm surprised I didn't, like, have more of an effect, bro. So nobody can use that ever again. I figured they would give it to the museum, though, but... Oh, yeah, we're not taking any, uh, any reports this time around, right? We're not going to showboat? Gwen, you did a good job. There. Aww. Totally. Good, because I'm never saying <laughs> Oh, she recorded it. You did a good job, Gwen. Smart girl. You, did a good job. you don't need to be lucky. Just be smart. <laughs> you did a good job. Duped your ass, Ben. You did a good job. <laughs> really like this episode. I like that it was Gwen focused. Really cool, man. I really want to see Gwen get like her own powers or her own training or something along those lines, right? Because I know this series is really long. I know that it has like three or four seasons for the main series. Then there's, I think, Omniverse or whatever, or Ultra Alien. Like there's multiple different sequel series. So it's clear that they're going to get older as time goes, right? So I would love to see Gwen train, become more skilled, maybe even get her own power. I don't know if it's going to be possible. I mean, he has the Omni tricks, right? So that's where he gets his powers from. But maybe Gwen will get some, like, technology or something. Because if the Omnitrix exists, what else exists out in space, right? So I just want to see, like, Gwen get her time to shine some more in the future. And that's why I really enjoyed this one. It was a, a Gwen-centric episode. She continuously comes in clutch every single episode. But she doesn't get the glory, right? Ben gets the glory. And she was feeling a certain way. And she was able to be a hero this time. So I just really like the fact that she got some sh uh, time in the spotlight. But I would love to hear your thoughts on this episode. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time.